Well, well, happy Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and oh, oh. everybody out there. We have the Hanukkah special to the Happy Hanukkah. So I'm glad you're here. Did you want to uh, share a song or a, a thought tonight, Steve? As uh, we look back at some of your great videos from 2010. Now it's already almost 2019. Hard to believe we've got almost nine years. Yeah, it's been a long time yeah, it's since been a I've while. been here. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's great to have you here. Would you, uh, Lovely and welcome us from the Exciters? I'm glad you're here. Maybe you do another live one or two, if you will, yeah, uh, tonight. Got and we have a lot of a lot of time here tonight here at WB. How, how was your year so far? Well, my year's been good so far. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. The last week was phenomenal. Um, I went out to L.A. Um, Brenda Reed, the original lead singer of the Exciters, we're still very good friends. And she used to live in Long Island in Huntington, and I used to visit her a couple of times a year. But I hadn't seen her in three years because she was sick, and I was sick, and there was a lot of things going on in our lives, and we hadn't seen each other. So um, I went out there to L.A. where she relocated, and we had a blast. Uh, well, just, where did you go? I'm just curious. Is um, there any particular to, place that you really enjoyed? Well, mainly we went to her son's house because he, it was his birthday and he had like a, a I would say a, a three or four day birthday party, like the party and then the dinner and the lunch. But she and I didn't participate in all of this. Sometimes we just stayed at home and just talked about old times. We could talk forever about it. But then uh, we were supposed to be... Um, Going, we had a, a project that we were going to do, um, and, and we were discussing that. But then uh, her son and she and I decided uh, we we would um, we were thinking about doing a documentary because a lot of people wrote a lot of books, with, including us, and and they do a lot of interviews with us, and uh, we tell them a lot of things about us. But not many people know about our role on the Beatle tour. 1964, uh, I believe, was the year. The very first, know that, first U.S. tour. And you were there. Yes. And you we, met those guys. Oh, we met them, and we hung out with them. We were all teenagers. They were teenagers, <laughs> and so were we. And we hung out with them, and we had some phenomenal memories, you know. Um, but like like her son and was saying, and, and, and we were considering, uh, when you see... When you see films and videos about the Beatles tour, you mainly see the Beatles and you see how crazy the fans were. You don't see who, all the other people that were on the tour mm. and you don't see all our experiences. Like um, there were some people who came and who went and mm. came, they only spent like maybe one week or two weeks the, that leg of the tour. But the Exciters and Jackie DeShannon did the whole entire tour, so we all became very good friends. And the Beatles, Jack and D D Jackie DeShannon, and we s spent a lot of times together, especially on the plane. When I say the plane, you know, like who I always say, I always tell everybody mm -hmm. uh, in America when you do big, uh, big time. With one night is with big time people. You ride on the fancy bus or the fancy trailer, but they they went over and above that. The Beatles in the Beatles tour, we did one night is by prop jet, a jet plane. It was there. It was been like, fun flying on. A, oh, on it was a jet awesome! Like it was so awesome. We used to. You take remember them. it well, don't you? Oh yeah, I remember, I remember every single thing. And they, <laughs> they you have a photographic memory. Do you? <laughs> you know, they clicked with us because we were like music fanatics. And they were music fanatics, and Jackie was a music fanatic. So that was a match made in heaven. The three, <laughs> the three of us, you, you know. Hung out with Jackie to show. Oh, man. she wow. was awesome. She was, she was so, you know, she was great. We're looking for her because we would like for her, if she didn't mind, we would like to her, for her to participate in the Beatle tour. What we're looking for is. Um, instead of just giving information like we always do, I, I never have a problem when people ask me for interviews, and usually Brenda doesn't either. And we give interviews, we give information. But now, in our documentary, we want to add to the information, but we want to say it. We want to tell the story from our own individual personal perspectives. Even like I give an example, you'll see when the trailer is released that Brenda's telling the story, what she, her memories, from her perspective, mm -hmm. and I'm telling mine from my perspective, and mostly it's the same exact thing, you know. But different people have different perspectives on, you know, the same situation. We're gonna part of the documentary shot right here in the studio. Exactly. No, you know, that's a thought. That's a thought. So, uh, um, if you don't mind me 
if, if you don't mind me announcing it. Please. Um, I'd yes. like to, I sent out in my Facebook and LinkedIn, and I also would like to say to the general audience, if there's anyone in the general audience who worked on the Beatle Tour in any capacity, whether great or small, there's nothing so too insignificant. Um, we would please contact me um, and Teddy or Jim will give you my information. Please contact me and I will put you in touch with Brenda Reed's son, who's the production manager and the director, um, and he will take it from there. If you have any pictures from the Beatle tour, if you, um, pictures, he's looking for, what is else he's looking for? Uh, any mementos that. Memorabilia. Yeah, memorabilia. Um, and basically anything involving the Beatle tour, uh, besides the Beatles, something, you know, personal. And he's looking for everybody's, like I said, everybody's personal impression. Did you ever have any, like, like, personal, like a discussion with any of the Beatles? Or? Oh, we had, we had discussions every day. That was my favorite thing, um, because, like... Tell us about one of them that you, re that you recall. With, with what Beatles? Do you recall which one? I used to, now this is the thing. I used to sit next to George all the time because he like used to walk, he, if he wasn't sitting next to me, he would be sitting next to Herbie because he loved music so much. And I loved music. He, if you knew my background, I was raised when, my, when I was a kid, my parents were very young. You know, they were like, I, like when I was born, my mom was 21 and my dad was 23. So that gives you an impression of what, and there was music always in my house. So I grew up loving music. When I was old enough, they took me to shows. And when I was old enough, I could go to the Apollo Theater alone, just my brother and I. I was like 10 or 11. I used to pay 86 cents to get into the Apollo Theater to see all these wonderful stars who now. You ever see James Brown there? I saw James Brown. Oh, I, I, there's hardly anyone that I didn't see. <laughs> and I wanted to Aretha, sing I'll... so bad. Oh, even before that, from uh, I used I started going to the Apollo in the fifties, the early fifties. So I knew all of those people, and I didn't know them, but I saw all of those people. And um, so I and I had every record. I had records that people never heard of. Why don't we play them here? You still love those vinyls? The the the, the vinyls, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, good. We'll play. We have a we have a, a record player that we could play them sometime. But I don't hear. have. Well, well, we could find someone that has them. Oh, okay, yeah, but I had I, I, I knew about records that even the other teenagers my age didn't know about. So, um, and and this is the thing that attracted the, us to the Beatles also. He, even Herbie, they blew his mind. Um, they knew about songs that nobody in America ever heard mm -hmm. of from American artists, African-American um, artists. They knew all about that, and we were like, whoa. We don't even know those people were ourselves, and they, we were like mesmerized just by their, um, not even by their fame, and, and that, that but, was another thing. But by their knowledge. But by their it. knowledge of music, and I was really, I was really um, um, mesmerized. About, like, and like, and I used to bring my record, my portable record player wherever I went, uh, and it was given to me, and when some, it was a gift to me, and somebody in the gift they wrote, they wrote on the on the card to the girl who cannot go anywhere without her without her music. Sam, I have to do a station ID, and then we're going to continue on with some live music. William Moss, and uh, this is uh, Ted's Teddy Smith WPAT.